Hi, beautiful Libras. What a beautiful day, guys. Positive energy today, and I'm really liking it. Thank you so much, Libra, for all your beautiful comments that you leave on the channel, for your likes, and for your subscriptions. Welcome to you new subscribers here. Let's find out what uh, the messages for Libra are. <laughs> Very explicit today. When I was pre-shuffling the decks, it was just so gentle. It was, and it still is. What's going on for Libra? Success. You're being protected. The guardians of the land. New beginnings. Purity. <laughs> yep. Unicorn purity. Whoa. Power. Oh. Love. And renewal. Wisdom. You're a lot wiser. You're divinely being sent messages here. What's going on for Libra? Maybe there is going to be a renewal in love. Maybe someone's standing in their power, getting a new beginning. Success is here. What's going on? One more spirit saying Libra. Libra. A victory. Who's ever been thinking here on this journey? You're going to have a victory. There's a thinking man and a thinking woman. They're both thinking of each other. There is love and there's going to be a renewal. Oh, yeah. We got some passion here. And we got the healer of the ages. <laughs> Bringing these two together. What's going on? <laughs> well, not too many people are feeling too happy about this either there's a lot of envy of this family connection there's going to be a happy family situation hmm third party is angry because you're blossoming and there will be abundance so just be patient things are going to balance out there is going to be some sort of communication Opening the door to spirit. <laughs> uh huh. Adjacent possibilities are here. Someone's taking action. Angel of love has struck, and here is the yin and the yang. Oh, romance. Door to romance is open. New possibilities, new experiences, or a renewal of love. Libra energy. Libra energy. Whoa. Adventure, imagination. Strength. Oh. Dance. Move your body to music. Dance with the rhythm of life. Manifest your dreams through dance. And there is that polarity. <clears throat> Integrate your shadow side. There can be no light without dark. Understand the law of polarity. Here is this goddess energy. Honor your divine feminine energy. <clears throat> see your inner beauty and love every part of you sanctuary you could have been in sanctuary you know what I mean taking time out from the world spending alone time meditating or going on a retreat support get more rest ask for help nurture yourself maybe this person is asking for help oh my god Receive. Be open to receiving goodness. 
Believe you're worthy of abundance. A gift is coming to you, followed right by the abundance card. Enjoy the bounty of life. Your supply is unlimited. Blessings are coming to you. Mm -hmm. I have no doubt, Libra. You're being renewed. There is love here. Either you're renewing a love or you're finding new love. One more spirit saying. Hmm. Libra energy. Libra energy. Yep. It is time. It's in the here and the now. Are you being bullheaded? Spirit saying. Or is this person being bullheaded? Express gratitude. Hmm. It's not so black and white. It's not so black and white. Okay, sometimes there's color in there. What's this all about? Seeing the patterns. See the patterns. Grow together. So something is definitely coming together. Okay. It's too sensual. You know what I mean? Someone's asking you to listen. This person is being told to stand up and fight. You're being told to raise them up. They're reaping what they have sown. Whatever has gone on. Things are not black and white here. What's going on? Soulmates. Libra energy. Again, grow together. Spirit is saying someone's holding on to you. It's going to be a romantic offer of a soulmate. Grow together, Spirit saying. There is love here or a renewal of love. Unexpected offers. What's going on? It's about enlightenment. Okay. Someone is receiving some sort of a enlightenment. Unexpected happiness. Unexpected. Unexpected. Somebody wants to put the work in. They see your value. There is just too much passion here. Somebody just can't get out of their head. Okay, this is a commitment. Learning a lesson. It's not so black and white. This is strength. Have the strength and the courage. Someone is in love with you and somebody is lonely. Somebody has done the work. Gotten a sudden reality. There is going to be love here or a renewal of love. Yep. They have reaped what they have sown and somebody is making you an offer. Okay. Of a new beginning. Now, like I said, it's either brand new love or a renewal of love. That's only you will know. The healer of the ages is here. Time heals all wounds. What is this person? Yeah, it was jealousy and envy over here. Confusion. Jealousy and envy. Confuse this person, I told you. They want to come home. They've made a decision. The choice is going to be yours, but <clears throat> you're either renewing a love or you're getting brand new love. The choice is yours because this person is stepping up to the plate. 
it's they're heavily burdened it is the past returning there is this is divinely protected i'm just saying it's your choice new love or renewal of love they're both here Someone got themselves foolishly trapped over here, but they, the law of polarity, somebody is standing in their power. This is yin and yang. A romantic offer. Maybe in the past they were like back and forth. They refused to see something. Maybe they were a player. I don't know. Maybe they betrayed you. Maybe they're being betrayed. Slowly. Slow, slow, slow. They're guided to come towards you. This is happening in the here and the now. What's going on? Someone is... <laughs> Somebody is spying on you. They've seen the truth. This is a new beginning. If you've moved on from the past person, of course you know this is new. But somebody is going to fight for this new beginning. I'm telling you. They're fighting the devil. That's what they did. They're resisting the devil. They want to heal this. This is destiny. This is fate. They know it. They want to fight for this star. Um, I'm not feeling secretives. Maybe it was in the past. This I'm feeling what's ever hidden has been revealed. This is also deep, deep emotions, fears. Is somebody being bullheaded? I don't know. But someone's taking a leadership role. Now, closing off a chapter to that devil energy. This is either brand new love. It will depend on your choice. Or a new love. They've been hurt by the devil. They see the Ten of Cups with you. This is good news. There is a collaboration. Someone has seen the truth. Boom. It's the Emperor. Messaging you. Coming toward you. Somebody was trying to block this. That's what they were trying to do. You're using your intuition on this one. It's the King of Pentacles want to transform things or this is a Scorpio I don't know boom Empress oh uh, oh my god so like I said it's either renewing this love or you're open to new love but maybe somebody was being bullheaded you know what I mean things are not so black and white somebody wants to apologize you may not trust this person they're coming back around change I'm sorry I've changed I regret what I did dealing with this third party they want to reconcile they want a victory they're manifesting you they know you're angry because they manipulated you but it's not so black and white spirit is saying so at least hear them out because they want this Ten of Pentacles with you. They see a future with you. 
they're sorry that they hurt you, that they walked away, or you had to walk away, but here is balance. It's like, hear what they have to say. It's like, I'll hear what you have to say, and then I will make a judgment call. I want equal give and take or nothing. Yeah. It's a soulmate who you've been in separation with who probably was cheating. And it's like you have a choice to make. This person wants, well, You got a choice to make between like a twin flame or a soulmate. You're either renewing love or you're getting new love and the choice is yours. <clears throat> if it's your twin flame or your emperor or empress energy you were to raise them up and maybe you have you're a lot wiser now this person wants to stand up and fight and someone is being told to just listen to what they have to say Maybe this person wasn't listening before and you were trying to tell them, Shh, listen to what I'm saying. And they were too stubborn to listen. So the choice is yours to rekindle this love or to seek new love. They're both here and it looks like they're both coming in. Oh my. You got a heck of a choice to make here. For some of you, others of you already know what you're choosing, but for some of you, it's going to be a tough choice. Uh, others of you, it's an easy choice. Hmm. Look at this damn envious creature over here. <laughs> Jesus. That is the time. It's in the here and the now. And if you are uh, reconciling, Spirit is cautioning that stay in the here and now. You're going to let the past stay in the past. If you know you can't forgive this person, don't even entertain it. Because... It's just going to, you have to be willing to forgive. If you're not willing to forgive, there's no point trying. Uh, you've got to move it forward. You can't let the past hinder you. So if you are planning to reconcile, you've got to be willing to forgive. Hear them out at least. And then make your decision. Hmm. Um, Spirit's pretty clear on that. It's being spoken to me over and over again. So Spirit is saying if you're unwilling to forgive, it's going to turn out to be a disaster. But if you are willing to forgive after hearing this person out, then, you know, 
there's an old saying, test the spirits, then trust. So you're a lot wiser now, Spirit is saying. You have proper discernment to make a wise choice for your own life. Nobody can tell you what to do. It's an individual choice. Some already know that they're not entertaining this past person, and some people are. So it's a matter of choice. But you hold the power. I do know that. This person has gone through a purification of some type. So, again, trust your own intuition. Yeah, intuition. Listen to the whispers of your heart and use divination tools to help you to decide. Trust your intuition. No matter what like we can use these tools divination uh tools but in the end it it's up to each individual person to listen to their own guides their own intuition like i can sit here and pull tarot cards those are divination divination tools but no matter what you have to trust your own intuition in the situation. That's what this reading is saying. You should have learned enough wisdom and intuition to make your own choice, to make your own judgment call. Like, we can give you guidance here and tell you what's upcoming, but you can't rely on, on tarot or divination tools. You've got to trust your intuition first and foremost because it's obviously in the here and the now or close to it take care guys